racism uh, seems to be on the rise um, more now more than ever, uh, and and you can't ignore the fact uh, that it's really been like that ever since the Trump administration has been in office. So somebody's stoking the flames of racism. I'm not blaming it on Donald Trump, but I tell you what, it is on his watch though. But anyway, I just had a um, uh, a message sent to me through the patron, and it says this: We're going to Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. It says, Birmingham mayor responds to church sign saying black folks need to stay out of white churches. I wonder what Jesus will say about that. I really, truly do. I wonder what Jesus will say about that. Because it's obvious that many people today have different ideologies and theologies concerning that Bible. Um, like up here, you know, white people go to white churches. Now, I'm the only... Uh, up here in this area, I'm the only diverse congregation that there is, probably within, probably within a hundred miles. <laughs> I'm serious. There ain't no multicultural congregations like Straightway um, here in this Tennessee area that I know of, that I know of. But one thing for sure, um, it, it's utterly amazing. It seems like that folks. Uh, anyway, let's get on with this. Let me go ahead and read an article. Uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Matter of fact, let me find my peeps too to make sure I can read this with clarity. You know, understand what I mean? Hallelujah. Birmingham, Alabama, May 15th, 2018. Melania Posey. All right. Uh, WBRC. While some pass by the New Era Baptist Church, that's, that's, that's one thing that fits the actual sign right there. New Era. Era. Yeah, E R R. O R, not E R A. But anyway, they spell it E R A. While some pass by the New Era Baptist Church and never notice a sign in the church's front yard, there are others, especially those who live nearby, who can't help but to see it. I really think it shouldn't be up there, says 16 year old Kagan Edwards. He doesn't live too far from the sign that reads Black folks need to stay out of white churches. On the other side, it says white folks refused to be our neighbors. Uh, I wouldn't have a problem going to a predominantly white church because everyone's not racist. And you've got uh, to give somebody a chance, says Edwards. We're not exactly sure what Pastor Michael R. Jordan meant by the sign. Um, we tried reaching him. Uh, though the church phone number through the church phone number however it was disconnected but Jordan is no stranger to controversy in 2013 after George Zimmerman was acquitted in the Trayvon Martin case he put up a sign that read George Zimmerman jury supported white racism alright the latest sign caught the attention of Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodland. All right. There's a spirit. Now, this is at the end. Of, you know, there's a, there's a little sign right here, and I'll show you. That's what it looks like right there. All right. But then it says right here, there's a spirit that is over the city that has to be brought down. The spirit of racism and division. Uh, we have to change uh, the conversation to what we need it to evolve into. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. All right, so that's what they say. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. All right, so there you have it. Uh, racism, systemic racism. Uh, man, it's so stupid, isn't it? Isn't it just stupid? Isn't it just stupid? I, I tell you, man. All right, anyway, we may do a video when all the brothers get here in reference to uh, this bizarre behavior that I personally believe is d deeply and collectively and sociably embedded in the subconscious mind of man and not even y'all can remove it himself. First of all, what makes you think just because somebody says Lord Jesus, God, Yah, Yahshua, Yahweh, whatever you want to call it, that they are actually really truly his followers. They have always been imposters to the real true faith. I mean, but why should that trouble anybody in the day and time and hour we live in. 